Okay, I'll do one more poem. Uh, I, and it's the one that uh, Willie mentioned at the beginning. Uh, the one inspired by or influenced by, I guess, uh, Christopher Smart, the 18th century lunatic poet uh, who was locked away in an asylum for being a poet, really. Um, and his only companion was his cat. Now, just to give you a taste of it, he has this really long religious poem called the Jubilate Agno. And then around, I don't know, two thirds of the way through, he hits about 150 lines about his cat, right? Uh, and, and it goes something like this, for I will consider my cat Jeffrey, uh, for at the first glance at the glory of God in the West, he worships in his way, for is this done by wreathing his body seven times round in elegant quickness? For there is nothing sweeter than his peace when it rests, for there is nothing brisker than his life when in motion. For he is the quickest to his mark of any creature, for he is a mixture of gravity and waggery. For the divine spirit comes about his body to sustain it in complete cat. Uh, you know, and on and on and on. For he has the subtlety and hissing of a serpent, which in goodness he suppresses, for he purrs in thankfulness when God tells him he's a good cat. Um, anyway, about 150 crazy cool lines like that. And um, so I'm adopting, I'm adopting that style. And this is uh, called For I Will Consider My Six-Year-Old, which is the final poem in, uh, in my book, Facts and Figures, and the last one I'll do tonight, for I will consider my six-year-old. For I will consider my six-year-old. For he is the laughter of the living God, duly and daily laughing. For at the last glance of the glory of God in the West, he worships in his way. For is this done by brushing his teeth and building a nest in the middle of his mattress, having first kangarooed up the stairway's ascension, having second gathered scatter and scattered it again, having third given my back more trampoline practice, having fourth ended his day inside of books. For he has the rough draft of llamas for his hairstyle. For often he is the astronaut of Dusty. For the halo of all is moonlight and, we've all, and he always loves the moon. For he is an instrument for the cat to learn benevolence upon. For his dinner chair would be incomplete without him and tacos diminished in their flavor. For increasingly in the years ahead, he'll say, Dad, stop telling this poem to people and dwell lone survivor on a planet of embarrassment for he has teeth and they will grit. For today, when his sister said, what about the system? He sword thrust the air with his finger and roared, go to hell. For God has blessed him in the variety of his attitudes. For though he isn't mean, he is excellently stubborn. And he can smile at life. And he can sleep. <laughs>